My guest is Tommy. Tommy, why'd you call the show? The reason why I called the show is I got an eight-month-old son, and at the time he was five months old, and um, my family member, you know, she, she called me and told me, I'm gonna just go ahead and send you some pictures and do not just overreact, go over your head about it. And he had, he had a, a circle burn on, on, below his kneecap. It was, uh, as a uh, white mark, he, you know, he's brown skin. It was a pitch white mark on his, on his knee. And once I seen it, I felt the baby pain. I just immediately started crying. Oh, that's a pretty, and how old is your son? Right now he's eight months. Eight that, months. That's, that so this was, was on five. a five month old uh, little boy. That's a pretty significant burn. Yeah, and then the the, the, it just, I don't understand is, how, how did that happen? You know, she said that she put him in some water, realized it was hot and took him out. And what I don't get is, how come the whole leg ain't burnt? Why is it that one particular spot? It's an odd burn for if you're putting a baby in the water. I mean, did you t tell the baby to take a knee in the water? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. It, it just, and they, wait, they waited a month to finally tell me. My mom found so out. So your, um, your son suffered a burn, and you, it was a, it over was a, a month, month before I, you were told? Yeah, it was a month before I told and, my family. And, and during this time, are you not living? You're obviously not living with the no, girl you had a baby with. She's staying in another town. Another town. So you're not able to get there back there as often as you'd like, or no, but I, I mean, still a month is effort. a long time yeah. not seeing your son. Yeah. And so, when you found out, you went. I, di I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to handle that situation. The first thing I did was call CPS. And when I called CPS, you know, I let them know what happened, and they said that they're going to get to the bottom of it. But. They, they, it didn't, they didn't even do anything about it. What, what so, but you were able, to, and uh, the girl you had a baby with, her name is? Star. Star. So you, were you able to confront Star? And she said that she had missed the door. I don't even believe she did it, honestly. I believe that the person that they had, they, they had moved in, it was her and her brother. She was living with her brother at the time. And she said her brother insisted on moving a random stranger there. And I think that she's covering it up for him. I think that he did it because he had killed her brother. And I, fig I figured he was, if he was bold enough to do that. Well, wait a second here. We just went from a five-year-old burn to somebody killing somebody. At the time, CPS had moved her and the baby out. So while she was gone, it So happened. while she was gone, this guy that he moved in, this random stranger, yeah. killed her brother. Yeah. OK. But what? So you believe that I, this I random stranger, he if he's certainly capable of killing a human being, He's certainly capable of burning. Yeah, because uh, what amazing. she's telling me doesn't make any sense on how it happened. She took a lie detector test before the show. Yeah. Obviously, she passes. You'd be very happy. I wouldn't be happy even after because the baby still she, got hurt. The baby still got hurt. Baby still got hurt. <laughs> if she fails the lie detector test, even if she passes or fails, I still want to fight, fight for custody of my son. Okay. Um, well, let's find out what Star has to say. Let's bring her out. Oh, yeah, you accused me of killing Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, don't wanna, I don't even want to hear what you got to say. No, I don't even want to hear what you got to say. It doesn't even matter. Because no yes, matter what, does. no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Because if, if it mattered, you would have took him to the hospital. The only reason that you I didn't took tell him to the you. hospital after the only reason I didn't tell you is because you didn't respond to me and you left me for another girl I did, when I was saying that doesn't even crazy. matter. Why did you bathe him in the kitchen sink as a bathtub? Why didn't you check I the water? Why didn't you, you check the water? Nothing. Why did you? you I don't do anything. You don't. Father. You don't make no money. I, I make the money. Mother. How you think the baby's you. getting diapers? Welfare you. don't pay for diapers. How yes, you think the baby got a car seat? Yes, they do. I you don't for do that. nothing. I pay you for that. Do you didn't pay no, for you don't. You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. So um. I know, and we'll get into a lot of it, but I, I first got to ask, um, how did your son burn his leg so badly? We went swimming in the pool, and I was trying to wash the chlorine off of him. That's all I was trying to do. And I turned, I was washing him off. I had not done washing him off. Washing him. And then... You don't notice the water was hot then? And then was I wasn't in, it, it was in a sink. It was in a sink in the bathroom. Wasn't in no tub. So you were washing, you, you took your son swimming, you were washing the I was chlorine. washing the chlorine off You're of You were giving him a bath, period. <laughs> and how did he end up with such a severe burn on his knee? It's because when I was turning off the water, I accidentally turned on the wrong water. Everybody makes mistakes. You're not perfect. You left, gave me an STD. 
when I was pregnant, I almost gave, I almost miscarried. You overlooked the I was missed. So we came here to find out about STD or we came here to find out about You gave son? me an STD, Does yep, that you even did. Matter? You gave me an matter? STD? Okay, yes. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I must have my son early. Hold on, hold on. Before your brother died, 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 didn't your brother tell me, didn't your brother tell me I should get a DNA test? You know what? This story went from a simple burn to things that don't even matter. Well, it does matter to a certain extent here. And I have to ask the question, you're painting yourself out to be like, you know, here I am, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. But if you did give her an STD while she's pregnant, I ain't give her no STD. She has sex with Yes, you did. Your brother you even lost. said, your brother I even lost. said my I should get a DNA test. The kept on down, and I you. almost lost my son. What? what? I love my son. I was pregnant. Oh, gave God. me an STD. No. 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 You know what? I want to I start kind of getting to the facts a little bit here. Why didn't you take your baby to the hospital? Because I was afraid. Because you was what? What were you afraid of? I was afraid they would take my child, and that was the first baby that I had. And they were really strict, and CPS is already was at the hospital, and I was just afraid. CPS was already at the hospital? <laughs> yes. What do you mean? They, they're already stationed. They're really strict. Well, yeah, but you know what? That's what you're supposed to do. And I mean, you, I, and I'm not trying to, but come on. I, I think what any mother, their thoughts aren't, ooh, what CPS is going to do to me? If I hurt my child, my first thought is, oh, my God, CPS is going to investigate me. No, I get help for my child. <laughs> Again, you know, you burn your son. I don't want to take him because I'm worried about CPS. Is that kind of a guilty reaction? I wouldn't say it was guilty. <clears throat> no. I was just afraid of losing my son because my mom, she passed away, and I don't have my mom or my brother. I'm, Why is the first thing CPS? The have. first thing that should have been in your mind is getting that's help from my only, son. That's yeah. he all I have. Help. What, what He's about, all I what, have. What about calling Tommy? What about calling Tommy? I didn't call Tommy because Tommy wasn't communicating with me. He was with his girlfriend having another life yeah, and another if family. He, if you told him, hey, our son, son. Just, he just got burned. You don't think Tommy would be there? No, I don't. Tommy's here today because he thinks you're either covering or you're lying for someone. Are you? No. So this, this guy that uh, you moved in the house that killed your brother, did he happen to hurt your baby? No. Are you afraid of this man? No. OK. Um, and you took a lie detector test before yes, the show. Yes, I did. And you're, you feel confident about all your answers. Very confident. And that you'll, you'll come back. Uh, cleared of all this. Yes. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. We want to find out if if your ex star either did this, uh, if she meant to do this, if she meant to harm the baby, or if somebody else did and she's covering up. Hopefully she passes and you can move on and both of you can no act passed, civilly to each other. See, all I, you know, I, I just know, got a I feeling, know, know. You, no matter what this is, when you leave the stage, if you get something, and if you do something with it and make your life better, hey, man, we did our job here. But if you're just going to say, okay, whatever the results are, I'm still going to treat her like and I'm going to do whatever I want, I then what's the point of even being on the show? <laughs> She had your baby. She's the mother of your child. Yeah, I know. So if, she's, if she passes this, how about treating her with some respect? I still treat her with respect. Not really. Well, your now, devil, your mean, definition of respect is a lot I different know. than mine. I know. I know. Star Day, uh, before the, uh, the show today, you took a lie detector test and you were asked, did you intentionally burn your infant son's leg? You answered no. Did you witness someone else burn your son? You answer no. Are you lying about what happened to your son the day he burned his leg? She answered no. And the results for Star Day's lie detector test is that she told the truth. You know what? I'm, you, you, you burned your son, which is an accident, and I'm, and I'm saying this, it can happen to anybody. You turn up Ron Foss on, 
hand in the sink, he's four, four months old, it can happen. Whenever your son gets hurt, when in doubt, go to a doctor, go to a hospital, seek treatment. I think you know that now, and I hope that, listen, you're going to have a little boy going through life, and either you work together and make things easy for him, or you work against each other, and you make it not only hard for him, but you make it hard for each other. Good luck to both of you.